it's not at christmas but for the love to set the vibe for christmas it's all about red wine and it's been few years i'm baking christmas cakes i love to bake and i love the smell of bakes in my home here i'm sharing my secret way to soak the dry fruits choosing the right wine is an art from the right sweetness to the right body I love to add all varieties of dry fruits from different colors to different texture in my cake from sour to sweet and from mouth melting dates to chewy figs I have seen two country views of the christmas cake one is with a lot of icing on top of it like a snowy christmas cake and the other one is really rich and dark plum cake which i really love and which is my kind of christmas cake and this prunes is what makes sure the cake is so dark moist and cushy and i love the way it looks like a cushed teddy bear nose and the apricots add a really good texture to my cake and the pop of colors makes it more christmasy and i'm taking the pleasure to chop the big dry fruits into small pieces which is anyway going to melt into the flavors of the wine and i am adding all the goodness into one single pot can we imagine a christmas cake without dark raisins so a lots and lots of dark raisins and i love the sparkling yellow colors of the golden raisins and i can still sense the tart flavor of cranberries from my last year's christmas cake and the black currants has a very earthy sweet taste unlike any other berries and this orange candied peels adds an amazing flavor and i'm filling the bowl with all the chopped dry fruits like dates figs cherries prunes and apricot and i am mixing all the goodness and flavors together feel free to add or change any dry fruits of your choice now let's bring this mixture into a glass jar to get a real traditional christmas fruit cake which is rich dark and moist and packed with all the flavors i always make sure that half of my cake is enriched with this dry fruit when the dry fruits are soaked they absorb the liquid and become plump and when baked some of the liquid oozes out into the cake batter resulting in a moist cake and i always go for a wine a red wine with a semi sweetened body to soak my dry fruits Pour over the wine and make sure that your dry fruits are almost covered in the wine. And you can keep this dry fruit soaked from two weeks to three months. I'll be soaking it for one month. And I'm also adding rum to my dry fruits 
along with the wine which is going to balance all the sweetness and also going to give a really good flavor and darkness to the cake and i'll be baking two plum cakes for this christmas because one is just not enough for us and i'll be also giving all the ingredients and measurements in the description box so you can check it out there and also help me to push through thousand subscribers so please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and also on the bell icon because i'll be uploading more christmas fun videos and also follow me on instagram to keep updated and be ready with your dry fruit so i'll be baking my christmas cake on the first week of december and the video will be also uploaded on the same week so for this christmas let's bake together <laughs> okay don't forget to like and comment <laughs>